Job Wise Jones here. Let's keep on going. This is video two for the uh, RMA test, of course, to get you guys ready. This is medical terminology in anatomy. No more small talk. Let's get right down to it. Of the following structures, which would be located in the media stinum? Hmm, right? Of the following structures, which would be located in the media stinum? Would it be the occipital lobe, the aorta, left carotid artery, or pancreas? One more time. Occipital lobe, aorta, left carotid artery, or pancreas? It's going to be your aorta. Okay, let's keep on going. The point at which an impulse is transmitted from one neuron to another is called the point at which an impulse is transmitted from one neuron to another is called nerve center, synapse, dendrite, or terminal plate. Nerve center, synapse, dendrite, or terminal plate. It's going to be your synapse, right? You guys know this already. You know it already. Just think about it, okay? Which of the following terms is spelled incorrectly? Okay, so here we go. Bacterial, B-A-C-T-E-R-I-A-L. B-A-C-T-E-R-I-A-L. Or is it bacteriology? B-A-C-T-E-R-I-O-L-A-G-Y. B-A-C-T-E-R-I-O-L-A-G-Y. Which of those two is spelled incorrectly? First one's fine, bacterial. Bacteriology is not spelled that way. Here's how you spell it correctly. It's B-A-C-T-E-R-I-O-L-O-G-Y, okay? You might get two or three questions about spelling on your test, but I wanted to get one to you guys just to get you ready, just in case it happens, okay? In a human being, urine flows through the urinary system in which order? Listen, guys, carefully. Bladder, urethra, kidney, urethral medis, ureter. Are bladder, kidney, ureter, Urethra, urethral medius. R, kidney, ureter, bladder, urethra, urethral medius. R, urethra, bladder, ureter, kidney, urethral medius. Good question, huh? So how does that work, right? Where should urine typically start at, right? It starts at the kidney. And then it goes to the ureter, the bladder, urethra, urethral medius, okay? So make up an acronym if you want to. You guys, you go, you're probably going to have a question like that on your test. I get a lot of feedback about the flow of urine on the CCMA test and the RMA test. So just know that. Make up a simple acronym and you guys can get it, okay? Which bone is found superior to the patella and inferior to the ischium? Which bone is found superior to the patella and inferior to the ischium? Remember what superior is, right? Superior means higher, correct? Inferior means lower, correct? So in your head there, you gotta know where the patella is at first of all, right? <coughs> so which bone is found superior to the patella and inferior to the ischium? Is it the calcinus, femur, ulna, or tibia? Calcinus, femur, ulna, or tibia? Which is it? It's the femur. There we go, you guys. You know, let me know in the comments, too, if you want a video about the bones. You know, where the bones are at, length, and stuff like that. You know, the biggest ones, smallest ones, so on and so forth, right? I think a bone video might be good for you, too. Let me know in the comments below, okay? Which abdominal region, which abdominal region lies just distal to the sternum? Great question, right? Which abdominal region lies just distal to the sternum? Epigastric, umbilical, lumbar, hypogastric. Mm. Epigastric, umbilical, 
lumbar hypogastric. Which one is that? Lies distal. Epigastric, okay? You guys are doing good. Keep on going, all right? The abdominal region that is distal to the sternum would be the epigastric region. That's the answer for you, okay? Let's keep on going. Blood flows from the heart's right ventricle into the... Mm, blood flows from the heart's right ventricle into the left ventricle, right atrium, pulmonary artery, pulmonary vein. Let's do it again. Where does the blood flow from the heart's right ventricle? Into the left ventricle, right atrium, pulmonary artery, or the pulmonary vein? Pulmonary artery, okay? You guys are doing good, good, good. Which, so which of the following should an MA do while the patient is explaining their symptoms? So they're asking you, it's a clinical behavior question, right? So which of the following should a medical assistant do while the patient is explaining their symptoms? Should they be making eye contact and listening, avoid eye contact and listen, prepare for the next patient or multitask? This should be common sense. In fact, you answer that question on your own. It's common sense, right? Okay, if a paper medical record needs to be corrected, which of the following would be an acceptable way to make the correction? Erase the portion of note that needs to be corrected. Draw one line through the portion of the note that needs to be corrected and then initial it. Use whiteout on the incorrect entry or shred that page out of the chart. Medical record on paper, you gotta fix it. How do you fix it? Erase the portion of the note that needs to be corrected. Draw one line through the portion of the note that needs to be corrected and initial it. Use whiteout on the incorrect entry or shred the page of the chart. You wanna draw the line through and initial it, okay? That's how you always do it, okay? At this point here, I wanna tell you guys, thank you for subscribing to this channel. We are down some points by that, I mean, Last week, we had 72% of people who view these videos all the way through. They walk away and don't subscribe. That just hurts us. So I want to thank you guys who take the time to hit that little subscribe button and also hit like too. It really helps the channel to grow. Those 32% of you, no, 28% of you guys, thank you very much. This week, we're down to only 68% of people just watching and walking away and not subscribing. So we're doing better, obviously. So Thank you for the subscribers. I really do appreciate it, okay? So, so here we go. Um, making a note in one file that a paper is in another file is called what? So, so you're making a note in one file that this paper is found in another file. file. What's that called? Is it called cross-filing, indexing, conditioning, or cross-reference? Hmm. Cross-filing, indexing, conditioning, or cross-reference? It's going to be a cross-reference because you're referring, right? You're referring to another document that you said in the first document. So you got to refer to this document to get over there, right? It's just a cross-reference. That's all it is. Um, which of the following abbreviations refer to intracranial pressure that might be seen documented in a patient's chart? So again... Which of the following abbreviations refer to intracranial pressure that might be seen documented in a patient's chart? Would it be FACE? Would it be FMLA? Would it be CVP? Or would it be ICP? Hmm, right? Would it be FARE or FMLA or CVP or ICP? It's going to be ICP, you guys, okay? So there we go. Computer blank is considered the computer's physical equipment. Computer blank blank is considered the computer's physical equipment. Is it computer hardware, computer boot, computer software, computer application? Mm, right? The hardware, the boot, software, or the application. It's the computer's hardware, okay, guys? It's the computer's hardware. And again, you guys, don't let these questions hit you or trip you up. Just look at each question, 
Try to find the common sense of it, right? If it doesn't make sense to you, skip that on the computer and go to your next question. Do not spend 15 or 20 minutes for one question. Do not let one question bog you down. You are going to miss some questions on that test. You can't know everything, right? So don't let that one silly question bog you down, okay? If a medical record is problem-oriented, this means that each medical condition is assigned which of the following. Okay, listen again. If a medical record is problem-oriented, P-O-M-R, this means that each medical condition is assigned which of the following. Is it assigned a letter, a number, a time, or a date? Is it assigned a letter, a number, a time, or a date? It's going to be a number. It's going to be a numerically indicated in the chart each problem with the patient, okay? That's all you got to do. Numbers, okay? Which of the following would describe a medical record that is categorized by date and time? A little tricky, but listen to that, okay? Which of the following would describe a medical record that is categorized by date and time? Alphabetical? Numerical, chronological, terminal, digital. Hmm. Alphabetical, numerical, chrono chronological, or terminal, digital. It's going to be chronological. So when you read the question, it says by date and time, and then you see chronological here, you know. Chronos is time, right? That's how you know those little hints there. Even if you don't understand the whole question and what they're asking for, look in the answer in the question, okay? It's there more time than you think, all right, you guys? Which of the following would, sorry, which of the following would EMR refer to? Emergency magnetic resonance, emergency medical records, European medical research, or electronic medical records? Always electronic medical records, that's easy, okay? Word processing software may be used by a medical assistant to create which of the following? Super bills, records of patients and their addresses, inventory of office supplies, transcriptions. So again, word processing software may be used by MA to create which of the following, right? Super bills, record of all patients and their addresses, inventory of office supplies are transcriptions. It's going to be transcriptions. And the reason why is because, again, the answer is in the question. Word processing software. You can't use word processing for super bills. That's a numerical type program, right? A record of all patients and addresses. That's on Epic or some other kind of patient device software on the computer system. Inventory of office supplies. No, that also has its own system. The only thing it could be is transcriptions. That's all you have there for the last logical answer, okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> a cytoscope is commonly used by a specialist in, here we go, right? A cytoscope is commonly used by a specialist in endocrinology, urology, gynecology, or gastroenterology. So which specialty does the cytoscope get used in? Endocrinology, urology, gynecology, or gastroenterology. Urology, of course, right? There we go. You guys are doing so good. Let's keep on going, okay? <clears throat> Which of the following would be used to indicate someone has taken a file from the file cabinet? Now, you know, I like these questions because 85% of offices that I go to for interviews to, 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 to interview people, they're computerized. But 15% are not, they're still using paper, okay? So some of these paper questions are still valid, all right? So again, which of the following will be used to indicate someone has taken a file from the filing cabinet? What do you use? Patient chart, out guide, ticker file, summary form. What do you use? Paper chart, out guide, ticker file, summary form. You're gonna use out guide. Um, out guides just tell you where the chart's at, you know, that's all it does. Okay, you guys, at this point here, we're going to stop on this section here for the RMA test. If you have any comments, please let me know. 
I want to get you guys ready. I know I hammered a lot of videos out for the CCMA, and so I thought the question was fair to help you guys prepare for the RMA. RMA is a little more back office focus, shall we say, you know, but we'll get you guys ready, okay? So have any comments, comment please, of course. Please subscribe and always hit like. I appreciate you guys' time today. Have a good day. Thank you. Bye-bye.